Colton, do you ever hear a story about me hunting in Illinois? Long story short, I, I went out and hunted with this buddy that I, I met in Alaska. I was doing an internship out there. He was from Illinois. I was but I was probably was I working here? Yeah, you're probably early, like maybe my, sophomore, junior in college. So like what, twenty? Yeah, probably. Twenty. My dad loaned me his truck and I packed everything up and drove to Illinois. It was like that was my first big out of state mm-hmm. hunt, I think. Mm-hmm. You know what? I hunted IWC too after that. After that. After, so I've hunted Illinois twice. I forgot mm-hmm. about that. I shot a buck out there. You hit a buck out there. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> that's a big buck um anyways this is the first time and i so i drove all the way out there and dude it was like it was a weird situation like i was staying it's just like they, they had just a, a little small house and it was like it was in the middle of nowhere which was great i was like man it's illinois like i'm here for I, I, like not much was gonna they weren't really catering to you not as much like a hunter out. coming in to be with them well, when i when i got there he was like, oh, shit, you actually came? Like, nobody was there. He's like, yeah, well, nobody was there. And I called him. I was like, hey, dude, like, I've been texting you. Like, I'm I'm here. Like, he's like, oh, okay, yeah, we're out. You know, my buddy shot a deer and, like, come found probably not legal. I don't know for sure. But, like, <laughs> just a weird, like, I don't know. It was just a weird situation. And so I ended up I ended up hunting for the week. Like, I, you know, went out and picked my spots or whatever. It was, it was a pretty shitty hunt. It was bad. It was warm. Yeah. I, I got pictures of one or two mature bucks, but you know, junkers, and it just was a slow week. I dropped my phone out of the stand mm-hmm. and broke it, like broke it. Mm-hmm. I had to, I had to go to Verizon in Paducah, Kentucky, to get <laughs> any phone or AT and T or something. Um, the to top the week off, I it was like one of the last days of the hunt, like one or one. I had one or two more days left. I was going into this spot and like it was just it was a grind at this point. And I pull, I open the gate. There's cows on this farm, and I pulled into the gate. And as soon as I pulled through the gate, I look on the horizon, and there's a big buck, like fifty, hundred yards, like right up there, just following a doe around. I can see him like in the moonlight. And I just, I stopped, and I just watched him, and I was like, okay, dude, like that's what I'm here for. And so I grab my stuff, and I, I run to the to stand. It was only like two, three hundred yards, you know, down the fence line or whatever, and. So I had some enthusiasm at that point. And so I sat for two, three hours and <laughs> didn't really see anything. It was another slow morning. Um, and around like 9 or 9.30, tra- Travis, my buddy that I was staying with, calls me and he's like, or he texted me or something. He's like, well, what the heck, man? He's like, you didn't think to even close the gate? And, I, and then like, I just thought about it, my heart, like kind of sank. Turns out like I let all these farmers cows out. <laughs> I, I, Cause I got distracted by this deer. I'd never shut the gate. A bunch of the cows left. We're all over the road. I mean, it's the literally the middle of nowhere, but still a bad situation. You don't want cows everywhere. And so, needless to say, he was never invited the farm, back. The farmer basically <laughs> said, "Yeah, I think we're done here. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think you should probably go back home." Yeah, it's, it's yeah, humbling, but I mean, I guess just a good learning. It's taking me. Oh.